Okay, this video is uh, about how to use one of the rate laws on the AP formula sheet, one of the equations to solve for a second order reaction. Okay, the first thing is, this says that it's a second order. So if you know it's second order, you know which equation to use because the first one is for first order. The second equation down is for a second order on the AP formula sheet. So you want to use this equation. So you know that you want to use this because uh, what they're doing is they're giving you an initial concentration and then they're giving you, a, they want to know like what the concentration is remaining after so many minutes. So this formula has all the things in it that you'll need. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to write this formula. So first I would recommend writing the formula down. And anyway, so now you got to know what everything means in the formula. So this A at T, that means like the amount remaining after so much time has passed. The A zero means the, the concentration of whatever you're starting with, uh, but it's when before it starts changing. So it's the initial concentration. K is the rate constant and T is the amount of time. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in what I know and what I don't. So what it's asking for, it says, what is the concentration at remaining after? So that's AT, so I don't know. That's, that's the variable that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to write that and keep it here. I'm going to minus 1 over the amount that uh, the concentration that I started with, and that amount is 0.200. Molar. Now I'm just going to put it in brackets because I guess the, the brackets mean molarity. I probably will change that in a second. That's going to equal K and so that's going to be 5.76 E to the minus 2 and now the units are liters per mole so basically this is just molarity, molarity to the negative 1 minutes to the negative one is the way that I like to write the units. So you have molarity to the negative one, minutes to the negative one. And then uh, because a mole per liter is a molarity but it's upside down that's why it's you can just write it as molarity minus one. It saves writing so many units. Okay and then I'm gonna multiply that times the time which is 10, 10 minutes. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify a little bit and I'm going to do some math here. So I'm going to still keep that A to the T because I can't do anything with that. But if I take 1 divided by 0.2, that's going to equal 5. And so it's going to be 5.00 to keep the significant figures molar, molarity to the negative 1 because the brackets mean molarity there but it's still, the molarity is still on the bottom. That's going to equal 5.76 e to the minus 2 times 10. That's going to equal, let's see here, 5.76 to the minus 2 times 10. So 5.76, I think I might have made a mistake on my worksheet. So times 10 equals 0.576, I, for some reason, had down 576. I guess I forgot the decimal point. So that's going to equal 0.576. Now the minute unit will cancel out. So that's going to be molarity to the negative one. All right. Now what you need to do next is you need to move this five from this side over to this side. So we're going to add it to both sides. Okay, so we're going to add it to this side. And so we get 1 over the amount remaining is going to equal 5.576, or you could, if you're following significant digits, you could round it to 5.58. Okay, now what you got to do and this is molarity to the negative one. And then now what we have to do is to get this A, the amount remaining on the top, we have to take the inverse of this side, so we have to also take the inverse of this side. And so basically what we're gonna do 
is we're going to take 1 divide by 5.576 and so then if we do that on both sides we get a the amount remaining the amount remaining at time t is going to be whatever 1 over 5.576 is so I guess I can write that 1 over 5.576 molarity to the minus 1 and so what you would get is the amount remaining is equal to 0.179 molar. That's the right answer for that. Okay, so that's how you would set up a problem like that and do it. A reminder, if it's second order, the second equation down on the AP formula sheet is the second order uh, equation for the a second order reaction. All right, that's it.